Hello, before the video starts, just a quick message. Um, the GoPro, for some reason, has been a bit janky. And the audio in the first bit has got a bit of weird buzzing noise, which I couldn't clear. Um, and then later on, right near the end, it didn't record the last minute and a half, but I was recording with my phone as well. So it's going to switch to that phone-only view. Uh, so the audio at the end is just going to be kind of clipped off. Um, however, as a bonus, I've left in something that I was meant to cut out, uh, just so uh, you get an extra treat for the... Uh, crappy quality but I figured out what the problem is and it won't happen again. Enjoy the video. Oh, there we go. Uh, uh. Hello my name is Jonathan welcome to How to Vintage and today is the first episode on the road to verified. Insert catchy music here. Road to verified. So if you're new here, you must be wondering why we're doing this challenge, what the purpose of it is, um, and why we picked Depop specifically instead of using eBay, Etsy, ASOS, for example. Uh, how all the challenge will work basically is we've started with £200. This has come off the back of a couple of questions we received last week. Uh, one question was how much did it take to get started, the other question was is £200 enough? So we're going to find out. Uh, the reason we picked Depop is Depop is the only platform that has a top seller program which has a basic requirement. Now, that basic requirement is a minimum of 15 item, uh, 50 items per month with a value of £15 or £2,000 a month and you have to hit that number consecutively for four months straight and you need to keep that number rolling to retain your verified um, blue tick basically. Uh, the benefits, um, you're not looking at a massive list of benefits. You're not looking at discount or anything like that, you're not looking at monetary reward, um, but being verified does give you more credibility as a store on Depop. People see the blue tick, they know you're an actual genuine seller, um, not someone doing it like as a hobby or someone who's just going to run away with their money. It just means you know, you're know you reliable basically. Uh, the other benefits are you get invited to a um, forum uh, which has Depop staff, you get a community manager, you get a manager of your shop. Um, you, if you have any problems, uh, they, you can escalate it to them. You also get faster response from customer care. So when you send an email, your email is on a list and you get priority um, support. Uh, you also get um, a greater chance of being featured on the front pages of Depop. Depop kind of has an explore page very similar to uh, Instagram. It, it basically started off as like a clone of Instagram, but with a shop feature. Um, and they have meet the sellers, new sellers, featured items. And there's like I say, there's a greater chance. And also the community teams, they do competitions so that you can um, have a chance to be featured on them more often. You can get featured without that. Um, we were featured early on um, without being verified. So it can happen. Uh, but the chances of that happening is drastically increased. Plus you get access to all the behind the scenes stuff. You get Q and A's with uh, developers, Q and A's with the product selection managers. Um, which only the top sellers have access to. Uh, so there are benefits to it. The other benefit is I think if you're earning £2,000 a month, you're earning enough to kind of start looking at doing this full time. So once you get verified, you basically, you, you're basically turning over enough to become full time. Um, it'll be tight, but that £2,000 a month, you should be able to buy all your stock, do all your posts and pay yourself a decent wage, uh, or at least a minimum wage to get moving forward and actually put all your effort into doing this full time instead of doing it part time. So the point of the vid, um, series is we're gonna take that 200 pound. I have a brand new bank account. I have a brand new PayPal, but brand new shop. And we're gonna start from the very, very beginning and we're gonna push it all the way from zero right through to verified. Uh, hopefully we'll have it done before the end of the year because obviously it's a slow progress, uh, slow process when you're starting off uh, with 200 quid. Um, but that's kind of where we're going to head up to, and that's the plan, and we're, we're going to achieve it, because we achieve our goals. Even if we don't, at least we're going to have a good crack at it. So now that's the challenge explained. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we need to buy stock. 
So given the fact that Prelove Kilo has provided us the best uh, starter kit so far from the videos we've done previously, if you haven't watched them, they're on the channel. Uh, I have spent my first £138 on Prelove Kilo stock. Now, if you're wondering why I've not spent the whole £200, you've got to remember we have to buy packaging, like all this. This is loads of packaging here, but I am going to buy packaging sp specifically for this task. But we can't buy it yet until we know what stock we've got, because we need to know what size poly bags or whatever to buy. Um, so we'll look at buying those later in the week. Um, but we've got our first box of stock. The other thing as well is if you're starting up new and you have a brand new PayPal account like we do for the series, PayPal have a habit of holding your money um, while you're in your account until they're satisfied that you're not basically uh, scamming people. So for that first couple of weeks, maybe even months, you might not have access to your money immediately. Um, you might have to wait for PayPal to release it. And in that case, we need that backup, uh, that backup stock, that backup supply of cash. So, so far, we've spent 138 quid. We've got 62 quid left. The next step is to crack this open and kind of see what stock we've got and what kind of uh, priority we're going to list it in. Because when you're listing stock, you don't just list um, the t-shirts first. You pick out the bits that are going to... What's the best way to put it? You're going to pick out the bits that are going to suit the current time best. So right now it's winter, so if you get a couple of fleeces in there, you want to get those straight on because they're going to be the priority on getting them listed. Um, and then through the uh, rest of the week, I'm going to list all this stock. So you can see all this going live on How to Vintage on Depop. Um, and then we can kind of monitor how we get on from there. So let me just... Uh, grab something to crack this open. I should have prepared better, but I didn't. Uh, let's have a look. Ah, Paris is sweet. So let's crack this open. Uh, important as well, invoices. We want to keep these separate. There's my invoice from Preloved. With a thank you note. I'm already seeing something straight off the top, which I'm liking. It's bright yellow, and it looks like a basketball jersey. So we know we're gonna get a little bit of cash back from that straight away. It might even be Lakers, I think. I can see a bit of purple on there as well. No, now we're not gonna do this. Oh, it's a hardwood aquatic, nice. We're not gonna do this like I did last time, where I'm gonna kind of go through each piece. We're just gonna kind of pull it all out um, and see what we got and kind of crack on from there. Oops. Oh, that's a handwritten note by the looks of it. Ah, it's a nice little handwritten note from uh, Mark and Wayne. They're the guys who own Preloved Kilo. Fantastic guys. Hardwood Classic, LA Lakers, another Lakers 24. Oh, a Kobe Bryant one. Nice. Early Nike. <laughs> nice Adidas. So all the sportswear, oh this is another 94, 98 jacket. Sturgio Ciccini, another jacket. Like I said, we're just gonna pull through these quickly because we kind of want to see what's going on further down. We'll kind of want to sort these out a little bit. Probably need a bigger desk really. Hopefully you can see me properly. You can the street. I'm sure I used to have one of those as a kid. I definitely had one of these as a kid. If you didn't have a Reebok Classics when you were a kid, there was something up. Especially in the 90s. Got some nice stuff going on here. Loads of nice track jackets. Track jackets. The Kappa football top. There we go. A nice early 2K Nike uh, quarter zip. So this is the kind of stuff we're going to prioritize straight away. It's a thick uh, piece of Nike, basically. Quarter zip, or it's popular. This is gonna get you a quick return. So we're gonna probably crack on getting that listed today. That's gonna be priority one. A little bit of ball plane, but that is perfectly fine. So let me just pop that down there, because that's gonna be priority one. Nautica fleece. In case you're thinking maybe because they kind of said thank you and signed it off themselves, um, I'm not getting any personal treatment. They said they're going to send through boxes as they send for everyone else. And so far off the back of the previous video, 
I've already got three or four messages from other people that have bought these boxes and are super happy with them. Uh, I'm not going to share their posts because that's kind of a bit, a bit mean. But this is basically the kind of stuff you're going to expect from these guys. That is nice. That is a nice Levi shirt. I need to lose a bit of, a bit of trunkage, make because I'd be keeping that. All right, that's going to go over there because that's nice. We'll keep that out. Nice champion, Tommy Adidas, more champion, another Nike, early 2K again, and a Tommy. Right, so that is that. So our main priority right now is gonna be, we didn't actually get any t-shirts this time, which is nice. I wanted to talk about t-shirts. I was kind of hoping I did. Last time we received like a Levi's white t-shirt. Levi's white t-shirt, you're not gonna list it right now. It's probably not gonna sell. Um, what you can do with a lot of these white t-shirts though, to actually increase the value is tie dye them. So things like that, you won't list straight away. You'll kind of keep them separate because it's not gonna have a massive impact on your bottom line. Uh, but later on in the year, like March time, there's gonna have a slightly higher resale value and it's gonna move you into that summer stock. So, uh, nothing real I need to do that with, here with. So like things like this, the Naf Naf t-shirt and the um, Quicksilver, they're gonna go over here. We'll deal with them later. Flannel shirt, that's fine. We'll keep hold of that for now. Everything here though, basically, can kind of get listed straight away. There's nothing kind of low priority on here. So with this, we're gonna start working on it pretty quickly. We'll get these two sorted, the two Laker. So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna list the Nike and the Levi's and probably the Kobe. Where's the Kobe? Because Kobe's are worth like 30, 40, 50 quid. So, and they sell quick because the Kobe's I've had previously have all gone fairly quickly. So we'll list those uh, in a second. Uh, we'll kind of go through the listing, why we're prioritizing what words and all that fun stuff and our background. So let me just uh, move into the other room and we'll kind of go through that. But as again, if you want to see what Pre-Love Kilo give you on a second box, it's the good shit. Okay, so this is probably a weird angle being down on the floor here. But the first thing you want to do is just basically make a simple background. Now, our backgrounds, we all we buy all, nearly all our backgrounds from Don and Elm. Uh, Don Elm. Don and Elm? From Don Elm. It's a home furnishing sh uh, shop in the UK. Uh, and they do these vinyl tabletop covers. If you look at our away from the west, you'll recognize the pattern. Um, for now, because not everyone has this and it's an expense we don't want right now, I've just turned it over. What you can do is you can use a white bed sheet, <coughs> preferably a thick one, pin it down on all corners, pull it nice and tight, and then use that as the background. Um, we can take it as it is because the white background isn't gonna show much of this dirt which is quite a bit of apparently because it's been on the floor the other way around for most of its life um, but when we take a photo of the item a lot of that isn't going to show through because of the way contrast and cameras and stuff work uh, but what we're going to do is lay the item nice and flat nice and neat if it needs ironing obviously make sure you iron it the number one thing i see people do and it's annoying is they don't iron their stuff in fairness i do it sometimes because i'm lazy um, but when you're starting off, make sure they are pristine and ironed. Now this is a final shirt, obviously, so there's no real need to kind of um, iron it. It looks fine as it is. Um, so we're gonna get that photo and we're gonna take four photos of it. We're gonna take a photo of it, full picture. I'm gonna take a nice cropped photo of it, um, maybe at an angle just for a bit of style and flair on the old shop. Take a photo of the logo and then spin it around and take a photo of the back. So that's kind of how we're gonna be photoing this piece um, this vinyl flooring like I say you can go and get multiple different colors I've got five or six different backgrounds that I've used over different uh, shops um, it costs two to ten quid a meter and you need about two to three meters of it um, so up to 30 quid and you've got all your floor covering we also stick it to the wall and use it as a backdrop for um, tabletop stuff like boots and belts um, but it's nice and cheap but like I say you don't need this this is why i've turned it over there's no reason right now as a new shop for us to be using fancy backgrounds 
if you've got basic photo editing skills you can download I think it's Photoshop mix on the store thing um, when you have a white background like this if it is a bit messy you can just select that white background and erase it and just have a pristine white background um, I'm not the best for photo editing I always seem to get janky lines and make a mess of it so um, I'd rather just leave it as it is um, a lot less work that way as well but if you want to kind of go that extra mile with your first few items um, you can um, but by the time you get to the point where you're doing 50 60 items a week that's a lot of energy spent editing photos where you could be listing new items but by the time we get to that point we should hopefully have a background system in place which we're happy with where that should be less of an issue anyway so let's just get this uh, photoed let's see if I can exit this on my phone uh, oh make sure your camera's clean as well Otherwise, it's going to look terrible. Let's try not to spill my coffee all over the place. So it's nice and simple, just from above. You want to give yourself on the image. I should probably record this on my phone. Let me put my coffee down. Let me. Uh, I have an app which lets me record my screen. start now okay so this should be recording so you want to give yourself as much room around the border as possible because if you go in too close it might not crop in properly on the image because Depop's got some weird cropping so it's fine to be a bit further out and then we want a nice kind of crossover picture that you can use as a thumbnail a photo of the tag and then spin this round make sure it's nice and neat still I'm sure most of you don't need help on doing this right it's just basic it's basic e photo -y stuff look neat take photo GG and then photo so that's that done nice and simple okay so we have our first few items uh, photoed we're now going to look at listing them um, now when it comes to listing you need to kind of preemptively answer as many questions as you might get asked as you can if you don't put measurements on there they're going to ask for measurements if you don't put the tag size on there they're going to ask what the tag size is just all these basic things basically you've got to think if you're looking at that item is the information on there you'd want to know and is it missing um, one more thing as well uh, back to the photos for a quick second uh, lay flats are nice and easy you can do hanger stuff uh, a lot of our stuff we have to do on hangers uh, but when it comes to depop specifically avoid mannequins they don't like them for some reason I don't know why um, stuff looks better on mannequins in some cases some looks worse uh, but depop don't like it and they will not feature an item that's on a mannequin uh, so just don't do it um, there's I, I I did a test where I kind of, I like mannequins, it's easy. You get to see the shape better, almost like a fit picture without having to physically be in it. Um, but my shop got dramatically less views because I wasn't getting promoted anywhere near as much. Uh, in fact, up till November, I was on something like 9,500 followers. Um, with only having mannequins, it's only gone up by 150. Where it went from uh, nothing to 10,000 in basically the year before so it, it massively slowed it down so stick to your lay flats stick to hanger pictures uh, you're gonna have a far better time on depop uh, if you're on ebay or etsy uh, mannequins you're fine um, but I just want to clear that up so I'm not gonna kind of patronize you too much like I'm sure you've got an idea of how to measure your clothing but basically you want to measure your pit to pit um, sleeve length uh, if you don't have a dedicated shoulder seam so like these don't have a shoulder seam there's it's one piece straight from the neck just go from the pit to the uh, cuff it's enough um, and then from the top of the collar as in from here from the top of the shoulder down to the bottom that's your general uh, measurements uh, from that somebody should be able to determine their fit um, 
and then you just need to make sure that you note any discrepancies. So the only issue with this is a bit of minor bobbling. And in fairness, if I have my bobbly thing with me, I could probably just take that off and it would be clear. Uh, but that's spending more money right now, which is uh, what we're trying to avoid doing. And in fairness, it doesn't really affect the price. You can reduce the price by a couple of quid if you want, but we're going to be selling most of our jackets and uh, fleecy type stuff at like 30 quid. Very minor discrepancies like that aren't going to alter the price very much. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get cracked on list this. Um, and then I will, on my phone, show you basically how to do the listings. Um, so yeah, give me two seconds, I'll be right back. Okay, so we want to pick the best pictures for the job, right? So that's like a good picture. You can see all the colors in there pretty much. It gives you an idea that it's a night quarter zip. Picture of the full front. You can pinch that in so it's nice and tight. The back, God, that's like such shit back pictures. And then I forgot to take it, but a picture of the uh, Nike logo at the bottom. So the way the Depop algorithm works at the minute, because they're constantly fucking with it, is the system will scan from the top of the page to the bottom for the keywords. So if you're looking for a Nike sweatshirt, that's a quarter zip, that's basically the first thing you want to put in. And then you can kind of filter in any kind of other descriptive words through the listing as you go on. So we'll start off with vintage Nike quarter zip. Sweatshirt. Now uh, a lot of people don't know the difference between a sweatshirt and a sweater, so we're going to put sweater in and jumper in, because then it's kind of covered in. But whatever it is they're looking for, whether it's a sweatshirt, uh, a sweater, or a, um, a jumper, it's kind of all in there, because some people just use the same word for all of them, where each one has their own subtle differences. Uh, so. Uh, color black with cream and red detail tag size what's this double XL double XL measurements for you to ensure a good and to ensure, and to ensure design. desired fit because a lot of people wear these oversized bit to bit twenty seven inch shoulder to cuff is twenty five. Oh sorry, pit to cuff is twenty five. then top to bottom 30 and a half top of shoulder to hem 30 and a half inch so that's your basic bit done right that's all the information you need night quarter zip uh, condition next it's good vintage condition because it is with minor bobbling under pit, easy to clean up. Now we could obviously, like I said before, clean up ourselves, but that's spending more money right now on tools and gadgets for removing that kind of stuff. And it's where we don't need to be spending our money. That's where we can spend our money later on. We want to get a quick turnaround on this. Okay, okay, okay. category, menswear, tops, Subcategory, sweatshirt, brand, Nike, nice and easy. Size, double XL. Condition, it's good to use condition. Price, now we're gonna want to sell these quick, right? Cause we want to get this money flowing back around. So normally on my other shop, I'll put these up for 35, 30, 40 quid, depending. Um, but I'll make the effort to iron them clean all the bobbling off and kind of bring them back up a little bit 
basically you add value to your stock by doing so. Um, but right now we want a quick turnover, so we're gonna do 2495. Um, color, black and multicolor, style, vintage, 90s, streetwear, sportswear. Uh, we'll go with loungewear, so that it's, you can chill in that, it'll be comfortable. Uh, we will handle, do we want to try Depop shipping? Would that be interesting? No, I, I don't, I don't trust Hermes. So fuck those guys. We're going to do free UK shipping. So that's going to cost us £3.20 to post it. Plus the five, six pence per bag that we uh, ship it in. Um, so we're going to do free UK post. And we'll turn worldwide on, but we'll set. Uh, no, we'll keep worldwide off because we're new. We don't want to be messing around with that just yet. So that's it. Our first item is going live. I think. Yeah, our first item is now live. So we now have our first listed item. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack on with the rest of these. Um, that's probably what we're going to leave the video for today. We've gone as far as... Uh, getting the stock, opening the stock, picking some good items to start with and getting cracked on. I'm going to list the rest of the stock. If you want to see the progress, you can just visit the shop and see where we are. Um, yeah, that looks good. That looks like a good place to stop. I think that's going to be handy. So what we should hopefully see next week in next week's video is hopefully we'll have a sale. It might not, but hopefully it has. Um, hopefully we'll have a shop full of stock and we'll be moving on from there. And any kind of issues or questions that arise in the meantime, we'll handle. Um, so until next Wednesday, uh, my name is Jonathan. This is The Road to Verified. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.